There you go. Good afternoon, folks. I think we're about 30 seconds early. Um, we're doing masks today. So um, uh, I'm just trying to think whether there's anything to tell you, Freddie. There's still um, uh, Zoom classes. There's a few Zoom classes available if you're still interested. Go on the website and have a look. Uh, you should have got the um, newsletter yesterday from Sean. There was a, a, a load of stuff in there and I can't remember what it is. Um, we've, um, Christmas fabric is now on, on, the, on the website as well. Um, Hachanda is uh, next. So um, the first one is um, June Taylor. So uh, that's at seven o'clock in the morning. So I'm expecting you all to be up and to join me because I'm going to have to get up and talk to them. We're not going up this time um, because there's no hotels available and I don't want to get up at silly o'clock and go drive up there. So um, we're uh, in here. So Drew, what are you doing? <laughs> um, so today we've got masks. I'm going to do two different masks with you today. Um, we're going to do the um, the pleated mask because it, it'll fit people with longer faces or bushy beards like my son. Um, they need to get them into a mask and I'm hoping that the pleated one will fit better. And we're also going to talk through the Olsen mask, um, which is the one that I found has fitted better. And it's in there um i'll get it after the finished one. Oh, we can finish one um right so the first pleated mask that we're going to do or the pleated mask that we're going to do what you need is a six by nine piece of flannel okay because this is more tightly woven than uh cotton that i have read a few things on the internet t-shirt material so um, because that's tightly woven as well so I would imagine depending on your t-shirt a lot of mine have got holes in now so they'll be no good um, so you're gonna have your flannel and you want six by nine pieces of quilting cotton or um, again closer weave um, which is what you want you want it to be close but you still want to be able to breathe so we're going to put down um you're going to put your flannel down doesn't matter which way up because you're not going to see that one then you're going to put a one of your uh cotton pieces on top okay and then you are going to take your pieces of elastic which are seven inches long um i'm using the round ones here actually the one on on the machine is using the 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 flat so you'll be able to have a look at both so they reckon about half an inch in now I've got about an inch on a thumb so I'm going to use my thumb it's between half an inch and three quarters depending on how how hard I squash my thumb down so we're going to go in there so what have you all been up to with this uh, quack quack weather um, We've just been watching the the rain bounce off the off the the um oh the pavement. Sorry, words. Should we say hello to everyone, sir? Yes, please. Who's yeah. there? So we got Joanne. We've got Hiya, Lisa, Joe. Catherine, we've got Wendy, Christine. We've got Grace and Meg, and uh, Marion. There's loads more. Sean's there too. Hey Meg. Hiya Sean. Uh, see you later Christine. I've got your order all ready to go. Right. So for some reason that's not going to sit there. We, I'm using the round one here. It's not going to matter which whether it's flat or not. I'm wondering whether... Oh that might sit better. So how is everybody? You're, you're all in sewing I'm, I'm assuming. Um, in this weather 
So you're going to take your third piece, um, your second piece of um, quilting cotton, and you're going to put that right sides together with the other one. And then I tried to do this bit all in one go and I kept losing the elastic. So this is why we're doing it like this. Okay. And that's it. That's your pattern, your pattern piece in there. Okay. So you've got your flannel on the bottom, then your quilting, one of your quilting fabrics, right sides up because you're going to turn all this inside out and then put your elastic in place and then you're going to um, put your other piece of quilting cotton on top right sides down so right sides together and now we're going to sew okay now it doesn't really matter what um, seam allowance you give yourself uh, I'm going with approximately quarter of an inch because uh, I'm not using my my machine this is Sarah's and I can't remember what number we had to go on to get a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to use edge of foot and I've moved the needle over a bit. Okay. Um, you might find that you need to change the six by nine. You make it to fit to yourself. Uh, but start with that. We will put um, the um, uh, links up afterwards. Okay. So you, you need to leave a gap. I'm going to leave my gap between the e earpiece by there. Okay. Linda asked, what length of elastic are you using? Um, seven inch. Now you might find, oh, how do I make the needle stay down? There we go. Um, you might find that you need bigger or smaller depending on your use. Ears. Okay. Oh, that's what I've forgotten. Yeah. Go over your elastic a couple of times. Okay. So I'm going to go back now. I'm not. Oh, it's not doing it now. Why isn't it doing it? I hate using another machine. Anyway, go over your elastic a couple of times. Okay. I'm not going to go back because. You know me, I disasters could happen. So look at this bounce on this machine. Okay, so we got to the corner. We're gonna go round. We're gonna remember to go over the elastic a couple of times to make it more robust. It. There's my elastic, and I'm going back over, and then back, back that way, all the way round. It, it really is as simple as that. So if you cut out a load, you will, um, you'll be able to just keep sewing. Okay, that's the elastic. Very boring it's very straight there's a bit more to the Olsen mask and I've also found one online which fits Litlands really well um, I did send one down to Meg to try on airing but I haven't heard whether that fits okay okay so we're gonna go over the elastic, over the elastic, go back over it, and then back again. Right, I'm going to leave that bit um, open because we're going to turn it round now. What am I doing? Normally I would use my machine to cut it. I miss the cutter. On, on when I use somebody else. The corners, now you can cut out the corners if you wanted to. Cut off the corners like we normally do. Don't cut into your stitch like I did last night. 
okay like that then you find your hill I'm going to turn it round the right way there was me then thinking why have I got two the same colour colour but I built that one didn't I I've forgotten I've done one of all the same colour sorry people um okay so you get to this stage you're gonna find yourself a pen any pen or a crochet hook or a knitting needle and you're just gonna push out your corners like you would with with your bags or anything so we've been packing kits ready to send up to her chanda today so um getting ready for that for next week and uh, it's supposed to be getting warm again so I'm quite happy for it to uh, to to rain today and get it all out out of the way it'd be nice to have the sunshine back it just makes even if I don't see much of it when you're in here it's quite good so is anybody saying anything any questions Marion asked are you using a jeans needle Am I using a jeans needle? No, I'm not. A needle that was in the machine, which I'm assuming is either a quilting needle or a um, uh, a universal. Um, you could use jeans needle, but um, that, you know, do you use a jeans needle when you do quilting? Because this is this is. Um, uh, less layers than when you do your quilting so I shouldn't think you'd need one yeah no I'm not don't use a normal needle right when you get to the bit that you've got the gap you want to fold it in okay like that oh, an awful lot of okay and we're going to top stitch that shut so you're not you don't even have to do any hand sewing okay right and where's all the clips there's one there right before we top stitch what we're going to do is you pull in this down To make a pleat so you're going to pull the top towards you but fold it back away from you okay and you want the pleat to come down they say there's less chance of um the germs sitting in there you know if it was the other way up that way up they reckon the germs come and they just sit in there i don't know uh, how that works but Okay, so you're going to put your first pleat in. I can't get this around. It's been, been real dilly here. There we go. Okay, so you're going to put... You must have to top stitch all the way around because there's no way now... Sorry, I watched it this morning. You must have to top stitch round now. So we're just going to do that quick. So, just top stitch all the way round. Um, anybody else saying anything? Uh, Suzanne asked when we're on Hachanda next, but my man Sean. My man Sean all uh, answered it. How are you liking the new Gigglers uh, page? There's been some interesting stuff there of you all putting your um, lovely to see. Mum said no, just sew down the edges once pleated. 
Yeah, the one, the woman on the thing said um, she top stitched all the way round. No. I'm there now. I'm there now. It'll uh, hold it together a little bit better. Not that I'm top stitching this um, perfectly anyway. Jane asks, how many plates do you need? Pleats. Pleats. Um, we're going to do three. Um, okay. So there's your top stitch all the way around. So we're going to fold towards us to just past the, um, the elastics. And then fold, no, yeah, like that, and then fold back. So that this is roughly an inch, okay? Your, your pleat is actually about an inch. So if I stick that in there, okay? And then you're going to pleat again. So pull it towards you and then away. Okay, it looks quite skinny then, but it'll work it'll work quite bulky there we are isn't this fabric pretty it was in the sale it's on the clearance okay so we're going to do the quarter inch This is where I get my fingers under it. Oh. I'm wondering whether I'm going to go back down. Do you have a demonstration for a child's mask? Um, I have a pattern. Uh, whether we'll get round to the demonstration will all depend on thing. But I've got a pattern that I can send you um, or give you a link because I did it thinking it was going to be for me. It was one that I found on YouTube that um, just out of an A4 piece of paper. So I worked all that out. Am I still? I've got cotton in there. Look at that. I'm sewing away. There's no cotton in there. Um, so I uh, found one and it showed you that if you folded it into fours and, um, and then pushed it up, uh, and then you, you just folded it and cut it so I did that but it sort of fat it fitted about there so um, I think it would be perfect to fit Erin who is coming up to six as she keeps telling me she's nearly six uh, just going to fold this anything else on there Drew? Um, not so far. No more questions. Um, Sandra, it makes me laugh to see. Uh, sorry, when I see the heading though, it's a good. It's good to see what everyone's doing. Yes, it is the giggler one. Yes, it is. It's a. It's a good page because it'll give you ideas, and you'll see things, and you'll think, oh, I've got one of those somewhere. Okay. I pulled my clips out so we're a bit squiffy. Right, this is more bulky, but I still think that as long as you take it slow, 
your machine should be able to do it without the jeans needle. Okay. Good little machine this. It's definitely been a proper workhorse for us. Yeah. It's one of Sarah's old ones. Okay. There we have a pleated mask. Now I made one twig and tail, which I think is an um, a Australian company. There you go. So that's an easy one. It's still not. I think I still need to make it. I'm going to need to make it wider than six. And probably I need smaller loops on mine. So I think for my boys, because the Olsen mask wasn't fitting, I need to make a a wider one. Probably doesn't need to be longer, just wider than six. Okay, that's the pleated mask. Any questions on that one? No, not at the moment. No? It's pretty straightforward. Three rectangles sew them together with some elastic right the awesome mask is a bit different stay there don't go away uh, i saw it in here somewhere right the awesome mask is more of a um shaped one and that's that one see now this fits me and I've got wire in there so I don't know if people are going to be reading my lips now so okay so that fits me much better now I've been using hair elastics in the ears I've managed to do a pattern and cut eight out at a time with a rotary cutter. Okay, so again, I'm going to use flannel for the mouthpiece, which is this bit, and then quilting cotton for the cheek and the face. All right, now we are all you need to do is it gives you mouth one, mouth two, uh, face one, face two. Um, that side and that side but if you're cutting them out um, in one you only need the one piece and you just, just <laughs> I'm gonna have to print out my patterns my patterns get slightly smaller each time I cut it mine now there's a lady on our quilting group out. so there we are see and if you put them right sides together before you cut it out um, you don't have to um, you can just sew so in true style there's two I have made earlier there's a piece I've cut out so of course you would then cut out your your, um, your cheek and your face okay it's, th it's three pieces squ squared Jenny Brooks asks, where did you get that pattern? Um, the pattern is the Olsen mask and it's a free download on uh, Tinternet. So I will put that up as well. Okay, so you're going to take your six pieces. Okay, and first of all, you're going to put them right sides together for the mouth you're going to put the mouth right sides together and you're going to put your your face piece right sides together and then you're going to sew on the curve now one of our ladies in the quilting group as I was about to say she uh, she's done hundreds of these um, in all sorts of fabrics and as you can see it's not taking up a lot of fabric so you you'll all have scraps there that you could use 
Okay, so we're going to just sew down there. Okay. Now you don't need to finish off the ends on this one uh, at the moment because you're going to encase it all. You're going to clip it into your curve, okay, which helps with bulkage. Okay, and the same for your mouthpiece. Am I going too fast? Am I moving too fast? No, it's not. It's not something that people say about me is, is that I move fast. Because I don't. I use a snail. comes out a lot easier so you clip into the curves on this one as well okay oh this is really quite I mean cutting out for most things seems to take longer on your mouthpiece on the straight edge that you haven't sewn you want to fold it over about quarter of an inch okay now you can put a hem if you want but it isn't really a need especially with the flannel the flannel is um, uh, it's quite good I want to put this back in the middle don't I a little bit and then again on the other side okay any questions no no hair Carolyn said I made this tight but found they were too big for me but okay for a man um, I cut off the printed seam allowance before. Oh, on this? Yeah. Well, this is going to be inside. So I didn't bother. Oh, no, that was on the other side. Um, you can buy them, uh, masks. You can buy them so that they're printed with, like, dog noses on and stuff. Um, I know Sewing Sanctuary had some. Uh, we were looking into getting some, but... Um, I don't know whether we ordered them um, from M Moda were doing some but um, they were being very tardy about it and they won't come out until quite a lot later right on your cheek pieces you want to hem the wide wide end okay see it looks like a, a bit like a trumpet you want to put a hem on that edge okay so I'm just finger pressing because the iron's in the other room stupidly okay finger press it and just stick a hem on it you'd be able to do this um, tidier okay you could put your um, you'd be able to uh, put a nice hem on it that thing done works there okay so I'm going to trim off your dog ears like you would with um, your quilting squares like that. And now we're going to build it. Okay, you have all your pieces. So 
So it has to remember how to do this now. We're going to put the cheek pieces. Now there's a, a, a right way and a wrong way of doing it. I just happen to have picked it up the right way, which is quite cool. And we're going to pin them together. Okay. Um, where's the other one? Where's the other one? See, if you put it the other way, you it doesn't fit. So it's a bit like IKEA furniture. There's only one way to put it. Okay. So we're going to pin those by there. And then we're going to put this right sides together with your other piece again it'll only go one way um, if you have a look at mm -hmm. it you can see that it points up a little bit more on on the on the one side that's the top that's the nose piece now when you pin the nose piece in okay you want your um, your uh, what are they called seam allowances to both go the same way okay so you want this one you want them to go both the same way which no you want to go that way okay so I'm pu pu pushing mine towards the right If you were left-handed, you might want to think of the left, and then you're gonna pin that in there. Some of these pins have got no no oomph left in them. So you want to bring your face piece on the outside of your cheek piece. trying to re deconstruct that one there I'm sure it's the, that way round no it's not you want the you turned it back in that would be on the outside right put your cheek piece down on top of your mouth piece and you're going to pin it on the seam and the same on this one okay so you've overlapped, you've put your mouthpiece down and then you overlap it with the cheek piece. Mum says other way. It's the other way, isn't it? Okay. So ignore what I've said and go the other way. Put your cheek, cheek piece down and then put your mouthpiece on top. I really need to go through this pin cushion. There's some terrible pins in here. Oh, right. Okay, and you're going to pin top and bottom. So you know that goes in there. Okay. And then when you pin here, you want to nest your seams because it doesn't matter. Which way they go? Oh, I don't know. Sorry? We have done that. We had it right. It's best to go under. The comment was like... That's what most just said. This, this bit goes under. Ah, oh, right. I have. <laughs> okay. I, think, uh, I forget that the, uh, the video is about 10 seconds. Oh, not 10 seconds, about 5 seconds behind. Yeah, and then they've got to they've got to type it out. Mm. Okay. Well, a pretty pin. I don't know where that sort come that one's come from. It'll have come from somebody that's left one on the floor. Right. There we go. And if you pin them so that they're right angles to your seam, you'll find that mostly you can sew over them right okay 
So we've got all of your pieces pinned together and now we're just going to go all the way round. Now because you've got your gappage here, there's no need to turn it out because you're just going to turn it out with, with the uh, natural ones, the natural uh, holes. Okay, so I start on the right side and we need to move that over again a bit and I'm going to go all the way round so if anybody else got any comments uh, Jackie said I looked at the pattern but uh, made other sort had to make the dolls one too <laughs> very good I hadn't even thought of that mind you my two aren't really into dolls that much or don't seem to be however I'm so out of touch of it okay so we're just going all the way round there are so many out there I, mean, I was watching one yesterday they made made the template by drawing around um, a pot you know a pan lid And then you fold it in half and then you take this bit off here and sellotape it back on there. I mean, some people have made them so complicated. This one is the one that they were using for the American hospitals, I think. Um, but it's I made a couple. I mean, the, the twig, twig and tail... Um, they do theirs so that they come out in different sizes. Now I made their large pleated one and it was too big. Um, it covered my whole face. Which, it wouldn't be better, would it? Okay, so we've gone all the way round. And as long as you finish your seams off although they do say on the video not to uh, there's no need to bother right okay my guys have you seen the ones that are making out of socks yeah and um, I'm not sure how I feel about that I don't know that they're, they're closely woven enough um, I like the crochet ones so instead of using your fabric, you, know, you just put the crochet over what you've made so you can make it pretty. I've seen somewhere they've just used a plain fabric, but then they've jazzed it out with beads and things. I don't know how that would stand in the wash. Again, I'm going to cut the corners off. I seem to spend my life cutting corners off at the moment. Okay. And then, and then, you just turn it inside out. Okay. Like this. And there's another mask. Now I managed to cut out and make 17 in one day. However, I didn't do anything else. It's a good job that Dave feeds me. Right. So... What we're going to do now is you top stitch all the way round. What time is it? I'm not going to do that. Um, just due to time restraints. But I am going to show you um, how to put the, the, uh, the metal piece, the nose piece thing in. So you'll have top stitched all the way round. Now remember we we put this so that uh, the seam allowance went to the to the right. And that's because if you put another channel in there, can you see that channel along there? So in there, I've got a piece of wire, which can come out then before washing. Um, it's just, this is a 22 gauge wire, um, 
I'd probably go up, you could go up a gauge, but I wouldn't go down. You want the shape. So that can just, but again, it's a bit like a bra. Therefore, when you're putting them in the wash, if you've already made the drawstring bags that Sarah showed you way back at the beginning of lockdown, um, you'd probably be taking your masks off and just popping them in that to go straight in. And that way your machine is uh, protected. So you just pop it in. It's long enough that it tucks under under the cheek piece. Yeah. So can what you about see? the elastic? Right, the elastic. The best thing to do is put your elastic in. Now we've got... Um, We've, we haven't got very much left um, we've got a little bit left of um, this elastic here which is um, very similar to the hair elastics okay now I bought a, uh, a job lot of the hair elastics so this just goes through there so you would put your elastic in that's why I went into this was to take it out That's your elastic. So you put that around there and then you would fold this over and just sew down that line there. Now, the best thing to do is for your first couple is um, if you're fitting it onto a new face, safety pin that. See whether it's in the right place because some people will need a larger turnover. And then I would just go over it a couple of times. Any questions? Uh, Sonia asked, uh, wondered whether you shouldn't do a plique, etc. as you would create more holes when you stitch and folds. Oh, perhaps a plique. Oh, yeah, hadn't thought of that. Um, I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, I um, I am not enough of a scientist to be able to, to work that out. I mean, this one here, the reason why you've got the gappage here is so that you can put in another filter. Um, some people have been buying the Vi Visaline um, interfacing, but now you don't want the one with the glue on it. What the um, statutory... Uh, government guidelines are on that either um, the uh, filters you can buy them they're in short supply um, they also are selling the surgical masks that you see all the carers wearing they're selling those in garages and, and places but you would pay an awful lot on that so you wanted to know about a child's one I'll put the link for these up but this, this, this is what I was on about. So you have to sort, fold it in half and you measure it and then you have a, a degree and then, um, then you need a maths degree and then you cut out this bit, which actually is that. So I'll put the, um, the link up for this one as well. This was just off a, a, off a YouTube and you'll be able to download the patterns. Now that that made a nice neat mask, and they also have a uh, another one, and that was quite easy. Um, it was a good a good easy one, um, and you would put your ties or your elastics on on there. Has that answered anybody's questions? Does anybody mm. need anything else? We have a little bit of elastic left, not a huge amount. We're doing um, uh, fat quarter bundles and you can see how little fabric you need. Um, so you could make tons, pots of them. Um, we also have clearance fabric on the site uh, under clearance, um, which are at 350 for half a metre. So imagine how many masks you get out of that. And the flannel is also on the site. Uh, I've wibbled on 
quite enough thank you very much so um it'll be sarah's back tomorrow with foundation piecing am i right what are you okay. what are you doing tomorrow sir i can't remember no i got it written down somewhere but the amount of pieces of paper uh that we carry around is phenomenal and all uh anything you need give us a ring and i'll see you next week bye